Matt Santigafler from the Santa Cells Houses team, and this is uh, our money market update. A little late in the day, but um, you know, better late than never, I guess. And I'm just going to jump straight into the numbers here because this is the we're seeing a number that we haven't seen in a long time, and that's new listings came in below triple digits. So new listings came in for this past week in the city of London at 90. We haven't seen this since, I guess, really last Christmas. Uh, conditionals came in at 9 and uh, solds or pendings came in at 107. Now, um, not a shock, obviously, that we finally have dropped uh, below triple digits with new listings. Christmas is right around the corner. Um, but something to keep in mind here, um, if you are looking to sell your home and you're maybe wondering when is the best time, um, I wouldn't say there's necessarily anything wrong with listing your home around Christmas because anybody who is uh, searching for a home during the holidays has serious purpose behind it. So you'll probably have fewer tire kickers, not that I think there are a lot of tire kickers these days, because I don't, I believe everybody who is looking is looking with intent. However, that level of seriousness kind of goes up in, during the holidays. So uh, something to keep in mind there. Um, the other thing too, if you're looking to buy, um, Cam uh, brought up a couple good points in the office uh, this past week and he shot a video that'll be up shortly about it, but it talks about when do we normally see the run up in prices and here's the deal. Generally in February is when you actually do start to see a pop in prices. So if you are shopping, you want to get out and you want to buy now because chances are, again, as long as everything stays the same as far as trends, chances are in February, home prices will be a significant amount higher than they are today. So again, Matt Santagapita from the Santa Cells Houses team. Thanks for joining us on another episode of our Monday Market Update.